Hello everyone and welcome back to the James Marriott YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about relatability. You know, I thought who better to cover the topic of relatability than me, a straight white male. We're most definitely not represented in the mainstream media. But in all seriousness though, I want to talk about billionaires today. Billionaires like Kylie Jenner. I just can't understand why billionaires can't make their billions and then stay in their own lane. For some reason, Kylie Jenner feels the need to maintain her presence on all social medias, including YouTube. And I really feel like Kylie Jenner's YouTube channel is an attempt to make her seem relatable. We're going to be taking a look at two videos today. The first of which is Kylie making cookies with her daughter Stormy. YouTube practically shoved this video down my throat. They want me to watch this video so much. I have no idea why. I'm not expecting a child anytime soon. I'm fully expecting YouTube to send a letter through my post at this point telling me to watch this damn video. And the second video that we're going to be reacting to is what I see as more of a relatable title. What's in my bag? A trend that a lot of Americans seem to enjoy doing just so they can show that they bring hot sauce around with them somewhere. What's something that you always carry with you. Hot Doesn't change the fact that you drink children's blood. But yeah, we're going to start with Halloween cookies because you know what? It's October. It's spooktober. I asked people on Twitter to give me a spooky profile picture and they all said that I already had one. So for all of you that said that out there, I'm going to be uh, drinking in today's video. It's a celebration. All right, this looks questionable. Uh, I love how they put the ingredients for the cookies on the screen as if anyone is coming to Kylie Jenner for her cookie recipe. Next time I go to a steakhouse, I want to eat a cow that has had its face painted with Kylie cosmetics right before it was brutally murdered. Are you going to be a good helper? Yes, mommy. Okay. <laughs> well, first, can you start by putting this in the bowl? Interesting, right? Notice how they aren't measuring the ingredients themselves. They're very much handed to them. This is what I mean about being relatable, okay? This is meant to just be like a, ooh, mother-daughter bonding session. There's nothing relatable about having some butler that chops up all your ingredients for you, processes all the flour for himself like a big human sieve. Okay, you're gonna put all the sugar into the butter. No, 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 don't touch that. Oh <laughs> man, I see so many baking videos with kids in them. Okay, I don't go out and look for baking videos with kids in them. But whenever there's a kid in front of a bowl of ingredients, they always try and get their little hands in. I'm gonna be honest, guys, you're gonna find out. I don't like kids, all right? There's something about kids I do not like. Oh, look, butter, I'm gonna eat butter. You know what, if a kid ever does that in front of me, I'm gonna force feed the kid the butter. Ooh. Wow. Whoever that butler was who just had Stormy order them about, you are beta to this child at this point. Tell G! Damn, you're barely out of the womb. I'm gonna pour it. Ooh. Okay, put it into the- Is there no label on that? That must be some expensive vanilla taken directly from the hands of a starving Madagascan child. I must admit, right, I was not expecting Kylie to be able to crack eggs like that. I am not the best at cracking eggs. Is that a euphemism? Is cracking eggs a euphemism? The act of unloading one's okay. I'm not gonna read that out. I love how excited you are about the cookies. Love you. In all honesty, uh, I'm, I'm quite jealous of this interaction. I mean, let's be real, guys. They're wearing matching clothes. They're enjoying their interactions with one another. And I've decided, right, it's not relatable. Look at the kitchen there, right? Who has pumpkins like that? At least if you're British, okay? Your parents are divorced, aren't they? I'm sorry, I don't want to make anyone cry. Your parents are divorced. Your parents don't love each other. So the whole being a billionaire thing is one thing that isn't relatable. But that hug, get off my sight. You know what? I actually do really want to see how these cookies turned out. I was going to ask people at home to give me cookies when they meet me. Just for clarification, not going to eat anything that anyone hands to me ever. Unless it's a cock. Sorry. And this is so pretty. Oh. What? <laughs> Kylie sounded genuinely offended there. Just turns off the cameras and- What? Thank you so much. <laughs> you could really feel the pain in that. Which one should I try? Mm, okay, you made this one so much. <laughs> the kid wants her to suffer, and for that reason, I like Stormy. Stormy can stay. Stormy is officially a channel hero. <laughs> she gave Kylie the one most littered with E numbers. Practically impossible to eat. It's 90% sprinkles. I bet she only has one bite of it. I reckon her publicist has gone right. We know the cookies are shit, Kylie, but we need to prove to the fans that you're one of them. So before we get you your 24 karat gold Maryland, just take a bite of whatever that shit heap is. <laughs> These Look. are so yummy. You cannot call them yummy, man. You've had maybe two bites of that. I will now most definitely not be following Kylie's recipe. Quite frankly, I'm disgusted. Now this next video is a, another relatable piece from Kylie doing the what's in my bag challenge or rather what's in her 30,000 bags. Oh, I love this. Eight minutes and one second. Just over that mid-roll threshold. George Memulus would be proud. I love this bag. This actually was one of my very first Birkin bag. Surprisingly, Chris Jenner told me to buy this bag. Wait, who? Sorry? Do you mean um 
Mum. Yeah, you know, I was talking about family earlier and thinking that you had a very strong family. You've just referred to your mother by her full name. Was that on your birth certificate or something? Did you have to sign a contract? Alan, darling, make sure when you mention me, you mention me by my full name. The only reason I gave birth to you was so I could get more famous. You see, at least on this YouTube channel, we're relatable. I won't mention my family members by their full names because none of them like me anymore. <laughs> um, because it's the So Black edition and they're really rare and she was like, there's this bag available. I think you need it. Sorry, the word need. I can understand a bag being a good investment. It's like buying a good watch, which haven't managed to do just yet. I generally spend too much money on, um, well, uh, 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 uh. But to say you need a bag, right? Maybe you need a rucksack. Maybe you need a suitcase. You don't need a supreme black, what is it, charcuterie bag. Oh, yes, the brand new Ojuba Pelicopotamus. Yeah, sorry, I've, I've just called her out for her vocabulary here. Felt it was important to say she doesn't need anything, right? I'm trying to be relatable, but no one needs a bag that expensive. I'm trying to help. Chris Jenner told me to buy this bag, and when Chris Jenner tells you to do something, you do it. Oh, come on, man, stop calling her Kris Jenner. She's probably watching this at home sobbing. Actually, I don't know. Does she have tear ducts installed yet? A lot of stuff going on in here. Probably the most important thing in my bag right now with everything going on is my Kylie Skin hand sanitizer. Okay, right. I just walked into a big... Add. Oh yeah, oh, well obviously I have to take with me my uh, my massive investment that my entire future relies on. That my manager actually told me to mention more in these YouTube videos that I do. My Kylie Skin hand sanitizer. They are really good. I'm actually gonna use them right now. Oh, of course she's jumped on that trend. You know, what else is there to do in 2020? Let's at least monetize the virus. That's relatable, isn't it? We've all got COVID. So buy my extortionate product that probably works worse than any other item on the market. This is my PR card. It's for my hyaluronic acid serum. I love the serum so much. It has niacinamide. What is this? All right, firstly, niacinamide. That's what I use to try and kill some of the spots on my face. So shout out to that. It's not actually that bad. Wow, that's probably the first shout out I've given in months. Shout out to Spot cream <laughs> but that's not a necessity it's just another ad for her stuff okay this i have my favorite perfume of all time this is my collaboration with kkw fragrance oh, uh, that's my expression right now stop talking about your fucking products man it's your favorite perfume because you made it you bloody narcissist this is genuinely my favorite scent it's what i wear every day she's not looking at the camera is she it's probably some viewfinder towards the right of her which is just a script reeling off this is my favorite favorite product. I smell good. I have my camera on here that my sister got me for my birthday. Oh my god, she said, oh, she said sister. Speaking of uh, her sister Kendall, actually, there's more than just relatable content on this YouTube channel. I also found a video of them promoting some kind of collaboration. Kendall x Kylie. It's such a weird, ad. let's just watch it. So they've got the pap, uh, and then they're just in this white room, kind of crawling towards the camera. <laughs> pretty odd. It's funny because it's actually less clear in this ad what they're selling than in any other regular Kylie Jenner video. Whenever I promote something from now on, I'm going to get a nice big white room. I can crawl with my ass up. What would I even be selling at that point? My soul, maybe? Oh, I have my little scrunchies. I have my Kylie skin scrunchies. Oh my god. Kylie skin scrunchies? Why skin? Are they made out of human skin? Ah, oh, yes. I skin my hordes of followers. Make them into fucking towels. I have my Kendall blotting powder. Oh, okay. So they're not all ads for her products. You know, she also uses other products as long as they were made by someone in her family. That's nepotism of the highest order. Has your sister passed you a check off camera? Please kindly promote my product. Chris Jenner says I'm not selling enough. This is actually a charger that my beautiful assistant made for me and my family. She's only called the assistant beautiful there because she doesn't remember her name. I mean, her name's probably not worth remembering if her idea of a gift was a charger. I have my Kylie skin sunscreen. How many of her own products does she have in her bag? Well, you know what guys, I'm just gonna show you what's in my bag. Oh, would you look at that? I've got my uh, very own Marriott hoodie. <laughs> Gotta take that with me everywhere. It's a necessity that I just always have in my bag. Oh, what else we got here? Oh yeah, my, my U2s. Yo, you know, Jungle Book, these are the bare necessities. Oh, what's this? Yeah, oh, it's my single slowdown that you can stream over on Spotify. Now, what would I do without this? Come on, there's more to life than shilling your own products 24 seven. That being said, when I do release things, uh, buy them. Oh, I have some wipes in here. 
My Kylie skin wipes. Ah! When she said wipes, I, I just had hope, you know, that it wouldn't be Kylie skin wipes made out of clouds and a teenager's unrealistic body expectations. Oh, of course we have to have our masks. I always stuff just like three masks in here. If coronavirus has proven one thing to me, it's that whilst the majority of people suffered as a cause of it, we lost our summers. You probably know people that were very heavily affected by it. You may have even lost your job, but corporations for hey, let's slap our logo on a fucking mask. People are gonna lap that up. I'm not saying my life was particularly hard during COVID, I'll be real. It was the same. I just had more time to make my videos. There's so many vultures that will just jump on absolutely anything as soon as it's proven to work. Like, what business does Kylie Jenner have selling masks? Plus anyway, it says Kylie on the front. I don't want people calling me Kylie in public. That's for special occasions in the bedroom. But I always stuff more than one mask because my friends will forget it or... That's a lie, all right? So I actually keep more than one mask with me at all times because we actually have a multitude of color options over on Kylie's skin. Kylie, I know you're not watching this, but I, I see through you, okay? My Kylie Uno. What? Bro, Kylie Uno? Kylie Uno is actually very special because the numbers four and seven don't actually exist. Kylie's always struggled to count to 10. Okay, so all my lipsticks. So I'm doing oh some God. exclusive Ulta. Right, I've had enough. It's just a, it's just an ad. So with that being said, guys, if you want relatable content and you're subscribed to the Kylie Jenner YouTube channel, you're in the wrong place. Come subscribe here. We're trying to hit 2 million subscribers by the end of the year. Also, thank you so much. Uh, we hit 50K over on the music channel. The EP's really coming together. I think there are some bangers on there. For anyone that's listened to Slow Down and thought, you know, it's not really your kind of music. For as long as I'm making music, I want every project to sound different from the last. So I'm gonna be hopping genre quite a fair bit and this next project is really interesting in my opinion. So I'm really excited to show you all what I've been working on. I was gonna give you a date just now, but I'm gonna leave it. And yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new or have not done so already and I will catch you next time.